singing is sort of this um, effortless, happy place for me. And that feels divine. And so whenever I get that feeling, I, I just like want to have it as much as possible. And that is sort of how I feel when um, I'm singing on Sunday. I was born in Austin and we lived in Georgetown, which is a suburb of Austin, until I was about 10. Then when we moved to Lake Jackson, my mom and I would listen to the oh Brother Where Art Thou soundtrack a lot. And at one point, apparently, I asked, what's a sinner? Like, what is the definition of a sinner? And my mom was like, we have to go back to church. And she made it her New Year's resolution to find a church for my family. And so we went to th three churches and um, the Episcopal Church in Lake Jackson was the third one we visited. We were kind of comparing and contrasting it to the other parishes we had visited. And there was a woman sitting behind us and she came up to me after the service and she said, "I'm." I'm sorry to bother you, but I couldn't help but listen to your voice and I wanted to know if you wanted to be in the children's choir. You have a really great voice. And I said, y'all have that? And she said, yes. And so uh, I told my mom we had to go there so that I could be in the children's choir because I just wasn't aware that that was a thing. And then we joined and it became a massive part of my family's story. When I, I moved to Houston in March of 2021 and sort of, passively looked for a while. And then St. John the Divine was actually the second church I really tried out um, June of that year of 2021. And it just, yeah, I felt like the right fit. It reminded me enough of St. Timothy's that it was that community I was looking for, but felt like it was something, it had something new to offer me as an adult. Um, so my mom had actually sent me the event for the door on Facebook and I thought, yeah, I could go. The only other church I had visited previously had been the cathedral. And, um, I do remember I had gone out the night before and I was tired. And so I almost skipped, but because I had already told her that I was going, I said, no, I, I need to go. And I love music, so I mean, I was like, it'll be, if, if anything, even if I talk to no one, it'll be like an evening to listen to music. But I knew how churches were. I was like, somebody's gonna talk to me. And so I actually sat next to Megan, who is another one of our young professionals at the church, and it was her first time as well. It was one of those moments where you look back on it later and you're like, what if I hadn't gone? Cause I was considering not going cause I was tired. Um, and it's been, you know, just a major source of community for me and a social outlet as well as uh, the road to a lot of spiritual highs in the last like year and a half. So I'm super grateful that I went. So really the um, Compline was the door, um, no pun intended, to my musical life here. There was something about being in the chapel and the melding of traditional and contemporary that I felt very moved by and called towards. Once I met Zach, then that opened the door to singing at those services. And I know that Zach sort of was like, well, well, the first weekend of May, we'll try it out. And then after that, he said, anytime you want to come, please do. And so I said, I want to come every week. <laughs> I didn't know if uh, there would be 
an opportunity for me to do that every week. So I was just grateful to do it the one week. And it was a really awesome surprise to be invited to come every week. So the past year and a half has been really beautiful, but also extremely transitional. I feel like there, just when I kind of make one transition, another one pops up and that has sort of been like professionally, personally, and then spiritually. And for me, those all are kind of intertwined. And I think that change can be really hard, even if it's good, but the community of particularly our young professionals group has been a really lovely constant. And um, I sort of have the expectation that these, those three strings will always kind of like interweave and there will be a lot of undulation forever. <laughs> and I think that's sort of the way that, um, God and the human experience interact. Um, I think human lives tend to undulate and you have spiritual peaks and valleys. But our Young Professionals group has been a constant and that has been a really beautiful source of community for me. If I could just go back and tell myself one thing. You're, I think I would tell her that your vulnerability is not going to be seen as weakness here. You're going to be loved for that. And don't have the expectation that that will be true for me everywhere. But I would say, like, you should have a church home where that is true. And so I think that's why... With Compline, I said, you know, I wanted it to seem like I wanted to be of service, and I did, but I sometimes don't know how to be like, no, like, I'm really good, like, I can help. <laughs> and so I, uh, I don't know that I would have, like, been brave enough if I hadn't felt, like, so socially accepted and spiritually accepted. Um, I don't know if I would have had the boldness to really offer that in that way. And so I'm, for that reason, I'm very grateful that I decided to go to the door that day. So I personally don't think it's an accident. <laughs> I don't either. So, it's divine. Really <laughs>